Hello and welcome back to XCOM Chimera Squad. My name is Heiken and we're playing on Impossible Iron Man difficulty uh, with the hardcore feature enabled. Single save game, hardest difficulty, no missions that can be failed. And today we got a nice mission called Lights Out. Uh, one of the side missions that actually has so many rewards, uh, which um, indicates just how good the field teams are overall. Um, minus uh, in unrest, uh, prevention of additional unrest, so essentially five unrest, uh, net prevention, two utility items, 25 um, intel, 15 alarium, and on top of that we're even uh, getting the bonus from uh, the field uh, team level three, which is great. We only got two encounters here, and our equipment should be fine. I don't think that we've gotten anything else, right? No additional items, yeah. Good. So we're launching the A-Team and I'm waiting an, uh, any uh, given moment after uh, a mission we could finally get our first level 5 soldier. I'm very much looking forward for that. There we go. Breach mode. 50, uh, 50 dodge, um, stun shot, crit shot and 50 dodge. Well, you know I mean, I'm okay with the dodge. All of those are decent features, to be honest. Reaching in. Breach, breach. Good, none of them suspected us. A trooper, another trooper, another trooper, a hitman, and a cobra. Plus another cobra. Actually, would be interested killing the cobras, but given that we flank so many of the troopers, reducing the enemies is the better choice. Yeah, let's get down the hitman. Not perfect, the hitman still is alive. Rubla takes the kinetic shield. Yeah, and I... There is not much we can do about their initiative order unless we're teaming up and I don't want to use that yet. So to be honest, it's probably going to be two shots in our direction. Taking some damage. I was not expecting that they would hit those targets. Let's get your Safeguarding the verge. And let us actually hand over an action to him so that we can take out this trooper. And already start building our neural network. Okay, time to take out the Cobra. Yep, that's a full takeout. And I like the idea that the hitman kills his friend. Enemies all around you. 
Should also deal with his Overwatch. Neutralizing. Well, or he just goes for the Paladin, that's fine for me as well. Verge now has three enemies in his neural network. Yeah, nice try, but we're immune to poison, thank you. Good, we can kill both of them, that's not even... That's not even a problem. So, let's take out the trooper. Let's use our lightning hands in order to set up this trooper and then let's use our face lance Light it up. in order to take both of them out We're going to Kinetic Shield ourselves. And thanks to our loaded shield, we actually deal a decent amount of damage to the Cobra. Healing Cheer Up. And you can see the strengths of the team, like it's really coming together now. No one is taking damage. Heading over. Engaging. Good, taking out the Cobra. Successfully so. And then Mind Flaying. Trooper down. And let's get down the co uh, the Cobra as well. Perfect. First encounter done. Zero hit points damage. Good. Few aggressive enemies. All units gain 25 um, uh, defense or critical hits, which I think we're preferring. So once again, thanks to Phalanx, I absolutely do not fear going in or, uh, through this uh, entrance. Yeah, there's only one ag aggressor, which is, uh, who's, uh, which is the Dominator. Trooper over here, Legionnaire, another Bruiser, Hitman, Python, Ooh, a faceless one, interesting. Well, you know, I am going to use the Phalanx because I want the shield to be loaded, and the Dominator has a lot of hit points. Let's get the Hitman. And thanks to our crits, this guy is immediately down. Yeah, you know what? I, I actually want to hit the Dominator. He's not dead, but he is close to dead, and that's important. Could have killed him, but I prefer the loaded shield. Well, and there would have been a chance that we would have missed. See that target? 
Busted up. Okay, we need to kill it in order to prevent reinforcements. We still don't have the plasma lens. Kinetic shield on the blue blood, so that he definitely can hit. And if we're now going in, well, how would that look like? Could hit two, but we would be standing in the open and without a shield. Uh, not sure if that's the best idea. This is not too bad, and we're not going to hit friendly units because it's just not hitting friendly units. Get to safety. Hurry. The reason why this here is not too bad is we're only exposed to two enemies, and we're having we're offering a reasonable target for the faceless one. Options to hit aren't great, so might as well take our chances and explode that thing. That will deal as much damage as hitting the... Yeah, well, a little bit less damage than hitting the Legionnaire. Getting down the faceless one. Perfect. And whilst we're on it, the trooper might kill the legionnaire. There we go. Chirp gets some help. Yeah, no matter whom we're attacking, all of uh, these are suboptimal targets. And all of them will be able to act now. Alright, Chirrup uh, gives himself a kinetic shield. It's perfect timing, by the way, to also heal himself for free. It's the last encounter. Terminal could have easily healed him as well, but just to show we're not dependent on a single character. Uh, this here will deal a lot of damage and free blue blood. Python down. Bruiser down. Gotcha. Ooh, and we miss that one. That indeed is a bummer.
Getting cooperation onto the Verge. A Verge uses it to mind flay. And how about we're just taking the action away from the trooper? Thought I had it. Weapons running low. There we go. Easy. I'm hoping that we will get some promotions now. The team has done such a great uh, job and we're getting excellent marks on each of the missions. Okay, so we got two grenades. Minus unrest. Lots of um, intel, bonus intel, bonus uh, money, additional elarium, and on top of it, uh, even days towards the oper uh, the target. His mobility has increased. That's great. You're honest about it. Good. We could get another unique weapon. That's good. I like it. We could get um, an advanced stock, but it's not worth uh, the cost. It's not worth the cost. Okay, so in terms of training, unfortunately, no one got promoted. Uh, it's a bit of a bummer. Uh, Torque begins her training. The basic conditioning, leaving, I think, only Claymore uh, without the training, but that's fine. As for the rest, I would want to save some more credits because very soon we're going to upgrade our armor. But we got some new toys to play with. So we got a frag grenade. Um, damages and removes or shreds armor from a target in a small area and destroys most cover, which isn't bad. I like it, the, specifically the cover destruction part. Um, same here for the plasma grenade, destroys most objects. They are not immediate, um, they go off a little bit later, but if you time them correctly, they are actually quite uh, powerful. So let's give him a plasma grenade. And let's take the frag grenade. Oh, I see how, how it is. I see how it is. Uh, how could I mess it up? Dude. You are supposed to use, give the med kit over. Yes, and you are supposed to have the train grounds. Perfect. Now, finally, we can use all three of our slots. Still no additional um, weapon modifications, but we'll get them eventually. I'll save the intel. So, we can get even more intel. Let's snatch that right away. There you go. 130. And we can investigate the strange device for more money. Well, that is good. 
I like it. This is the crappiest place I've ever slept. That includes my detention center. Hot meals and a roof over our heads. Better than we had it in the war. Speak for yourself. Advent ceilings didn't leak. Until the resistance blew holes in them. Rebel goon. Despotic flunky. Ah, young love. <laughs> Lovely. All right, Axiom does some leg work. I like it. Well, you know, I'm wondering. No, actually, let's let's do a, a bit different. We are going to get a free field team. This here isn't bad either. Next item that you buy in the scavenger market is free. So it's a hundred and up to a hundred and twenty intel. Alternatively, you can get a field team. You know what? Since we're now having the scavenger market, uh, market might as well snatch the next big item. On the other hand, my logic is the free field team. Would always be worth 120 while sometimes it won't uh, uh, the scavenger market wouldn't necessarily be worth that much some of the things are not as expensive on the other hand uh, some of the weapons are more expensive so Axiom is doing exactly that. Thank you. And Shelter is doing the scavenger market. Might as well do that. I think that's an intriguing opportunity for us. As for our... So we got someone training. Uh, in training we got a spec op. We got an assembly. Mastercrafted armor is almost done. That is great. That is really good. I like it. Um, so it almost appears that this year is a bit better. Number one, because it gets rid of five unrest, which is important. Extra padding and armor. Oh, we're one intel short. Interesting. This year, on the other hand, will only give you fifty. Uh, give us fifty Illyrium. Well, it will give us more Illyrium, but uh, the armor padding is um, worth sixty or fifty-five, I think. So we're probably going to do this, and we'll still not have an unruly sector. Yeah, that makes sense. So next mission will be in Old Town, then, guys. We are going into Old Town, we can't really replace anything. And I don't want to up, even if I could, I probably don't want to upgrade yet another um, Elarium station. Um, we'll probably, I'd rather upgrade one of the, um, one of the financial stations here. Yeah, that makes sense. This here, by the way, is a great target for an upgrade, but not yet, not quite yet. When we're, when it's time, that'll give us bonus income. For now, we're fine with the intel. Okay, I think that's all uh, that we got for today. Thank you for watching, guys, and see you in the next mission. As always, think about supporting the channel with a like or a comment. Bye bye.